Hey everybody, welcome back. Back in Montana again for a while. We're not sure. <laughs> so we're camping here above uh, Yellowstone and we're kind of on the Rock Creek here. It's a little stream here above Rock, above um, Yellowstone. Not to be confused with the other Rock Creek that's down by Missoula where everybody fishes. It's a different one. So we kind of made it here. It was packed. We went along the road here and it follows it. I saw this on the map. I thought, wow, it follows the stream for a long time. There's hundreds of campsites. Everyone was taken. Crazy amount of people up here. I don't know. Everybody's out. Everybody gets uh, tired of staying inside, I guess. So we're here for a while. We've still got a lot of exploring to do up here. So we went into the supermarket yesterday here in this cool little town. Red Large, something like that, I don't know. But a uh, very modern, uppy town. Got the ski resort going on over there and all that stuff. So we picked up two bottles of good beer. So we picked up this, uh, look at this. It's a, a Double Bach Dinkel from Munich, Munich, Germany. Oh, this is good stuff. Just had an 18 B go by, noisy. So, let's open this guy up, man. I really could use a beer. Ah, oh, yeah. Even got a wine glass. I've been holding this in my clothes bin, keeping it just so I have at least one glass to have some, some good beer or some wine in. But, oh. Look at that. Dark. Nice head on it. Oh, man. It's different. I mean, that is really good. Wow. I like it. So, other thing we just did is I can't get a damn haircut. Montana won't let me get a haircut and in uh, South Dakota where I'm theoretically a uh, resident I can get a haircut no problem but man the regulations in in South Dakota are so lax with this virus nobody's wearing a mask it is just it's crazy you know man I didn't feel safe getting a haircut there so I went to Walmart bought hair clippers and I've noticed I don't have it sticking out anymore gave myself a haircut I got a lot of hair taken off. It looks, uh, you know, as long as I don't take the hat off, it's not too bad. It's just saying. <laughs> so, but let me show you what came off. <laughs> Check this out. Yep, I came off the whole top of my head. And it was a lot more than that. Kind of blew away. So, we've got the Rock Creek here. A little creek down here. We got some awesome mountains around. It's pretty cool. And we got uh, we got some big mountains up here behind us too. It's a pretty cool spot. Gonna like it. But we're gonna be here a couple days in a couple other spots where I think I can boondock and uh, get some more fishing in. How beautiful is this river? So I did get two trout come up for it already. Not a decent size. Pretty cool.
everybody. Oh, it's early morning. We spent two nights in this spot here on this beautiful little creek here, which we did good. Caught a couple uh, cutthroats out of there. Got one on film on the video here. So oh, we're packing up here. Gonna explore, check out a couple other areas. I'm not sure what yet though. <laughs> So we're at a different campsite and we're on the Rose, but while the West Rosebrook Creek is beautiful. Check it out. So this campsite here is the first time in well over a year I paid for a place to stay. It's a state campground. So it's only with the old, my old time has passed, it's cost me $4.50. Got nice outhouses, I got a garbage dump. So it's cool. But we went down this road, explored this area, and we got uh, way down the road there, which is on here is Emer Emerald Lake, and one other lake, and it was packed. And at the end of the road is a very popular, I guess, backpacking trail. So there was just hundreds of people back there. There was some other campsites for dispersed camping and they were jam-packed. It looked like people just took their RVs, stuck it there, and they've probably been there for a month. So it was just the same everywhere in Montana. It's just crazy packed with people lately. So I decided I came down, saw it is. I'm camping right on the river. Fishing's not bad. It's hard to photograph it because it's a fast-moving uh, stream. But uh, I'm getting some nice cutthroats out of it though. I'm trying to get it on film, but it's hard. But we're just hanging out here. We're only spending two days here, and then we're gonna move on a little further up, see where we're at. I have no clue. We're just one day at a time. So we'll catch you a little bit. So, got my campsite. And I got the river.
safe. So we're taking the back roads to get to this river. Still water river. And it's so cool. It's beautiful. Hey everybody, we found the most awesome spot, but we got a porter here. It's hot. Uh. Oh, that's tasting real good. Sun's out. I am on the still water, still water river. It's a blue, uh, type of uh, trout stream is awesome full of pools it's got big trout in it it's cool let me show you this river so how cool is that river I'm parked right here River's right here. All I know is I better catch some fish out of this river. It's probably the most awesome river I've seen in a while. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> oh, just got up. Here's my coffee. Oh, yeah. Every time. So we had a crazy night. It was night of just extreme wind, thunder, lightning, everything else. And I got to show you this. We got another storm coming in. Check it out. But this river is beautiful. It's pretty awesome. So we fished this thing yesterday, all day. We got nothing. But this fish, this stream here, or river here, is full of trout. They were not They were coming up later in the day after little trichos or little tiny stuff. And I couldn't get anything. I was down to a size 20 fly trying to fish this thing and I was getting nothing. Everybody says grasshoppers. I've been using that. They weren't coming at that. Got a couple hits though. But maybe it's the weather. It's just just off sometimes. You just don't catch anything. So we got the storm coming in. So I don't know if I'm going to get any fishing in. But uh, I hope. And we'll try it again in a bit. But how cool is this? I got the river here. This beautiful river. And then I'm camping right there. Camping on a river. Every campsite just about, I'm on a river. Just living the dream. Looks like we got another big thunderstorm coming in. So, best to get off the river, and buckle down and get inside. Now we gotta check out how cool this place is. So we uh, broke camp where we were at, it's 
spent two nights there. Fishing sucked. A lot of fish rising in tiny, tiny boats. Couldn't get anything. <coughs> so we're moving on, exploring. We're following uh, the Stillwater River for a while here on this road. Maybe there's some camping up above or more fishing. I don't know, but we're going to explore it. And let's see where this road takes us. So we've been driving around, doing some exploring, seeing what I can find. It's still early in the morning, but I found this spot here. I'm right here on this river. River here is the west branch, the west fork of the Stillwater River. So we're driving down this little road in State Trust land. Got a little campfire here. So we're camped right here. Got a fire ring. Got awesome mountains here. Got this really cool river. Doesn't get any better than this. This is beautiful. So we're gonna fish this a little bit. Probably just spend one night here. All right, everybody, we're going fishing. I just did a little fishing before. Didn't bring the camera, but on this small little creek, my first fish was about a 15 inch brown trout that yeah, it just took out line and gave a great fight. So we're gonna bring the camera this time. Hopefully we get the same thing. Let's hope. everybody we're about done I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes here for some reason but it's time to move on we're breaking camp it's Saturday which I know I shouldn't be doing that maybe a bitch find another campsite but we're gonna be on route 90 up right on the Yellowstone River I think there's a campsite there so we're gonna try that but I've been out for like 10 days and uh, my food is gone I got to do laundry I gotta catch up on things. Had a few problems with my solar. I gotta buy some fuses. So we gotta get a few things done. And then we're gonna head back into the mountains and do, I think we're gonna do Boulder River or Boulder Creek, one or that. And then head back to Missoula. So anyway, I'm John. I'm over the hill. I'm 65. Live out of my Jeep, full time. Just fishing in, enjoying life, living the dream. So if you're new watching this, slam that subscribe button hit that like button and we'll catch you guys down the road we'll catch you a little later don't forget never stop listening to rock and roll and never stop walking and we'll catch you later and let me show you before this i got this beautiful set of cliffs if you're a rock climber this is awesome and i don't think there's one person that's ever been on this cliff catch you in a bit <laughs>